Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with exercise 2a of the fundamental book, the book uh, Fundamental Applied Mathematics, and I'm on page 42. And the question states that a car has a maximum deceleration of 8 meters per second. Now, before we continue, it's a deceleration, so it'll be negative 8 meters per second. Uh, find the shortest possible distance it will take to stop if it is traveling at two different speeds, 24 and 48 meters per second. So where do we do? What do we do first? Well, we begin by drawing our graph. So we have uh, speed at meters per second, and we have time at seconds. So it's yeah. We don't really know anything else. I suppose we can't really graph anything else. So I suppose that really was a uh, that was kind of pointless. So, so let me clean that up there. So we go straight into it. We go u, v, a, s, and t. Maximum deceleration of 8 meters per second. The shortest possible distance it will take to stop. That means if it's stopping, it will have a velocity of or speed of 0 meters per second. And it's, it says in part 1 that you're given an initial speed of 24 meters per second. And you're asked to find both s and t. So what do we do? We do the same thing as normal. We try our u vest formula. So v is equal to u plus a t. That will work because the only variable we're missing is t. So it's 0 is equal to 24 minus 8 times t. Remember, it's negative 8. So therefore, t is equal to, um, what's it, 3? Three? 3, isn't it? Like that. So that's t is equal to 3 seconds. So you should check that out in the back of the book. That's, oh, we're actually not asked to find the times, but OK. So we'll say t is equal to 3 like this. Next, we'll get the distance. S, uh, what will we go? S is equal to u plus v over 2 times t. S is equal to u plus v, 24, plus 0 over 2 times t. t is 3 seconds. So 12 times 3 is equal to 36. Check that out of the book again. And we find that that is correct. 36 meters is correct. So we'll do the exact same thing, except this time for parts 2, our starting velocity is 48 meters per second. So v is equal to u plus at minus 8 times t, like that. t is equal to 48 over 8 is equal to. Uh, Jesus, 6, <laughs> six seconds. Now I told you my arithmetic is terrible. <laughs> I didn't even spot that. How embarrassing. So 6 seconds. And then to get the distance, we're going to go s equal u plus v over 2 times t. You could use the other formula if you like, but this is the one I'm just going to use. So 48 divided by 2 multiplied by the time, which is 6 seconds. Cancel those. 3 times 48 gives me s is equal to 144 meters. Let's check that at the back of the book again. And we find that 144 meters is correct. So that was reasonably straightforward. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope that was useful. Please subscribe to my channel and pass it on to your friends.